for the audience that's listening right now and don't actually know exactly the different areas of pharmacy, can you break down a little bit about what's uh -huh. AmCare and um, specialty yeah. care? Just a little bit about the three fields that you like or interested in? Certainly. So AmCare is basically managing chronic disease states. So there's going to be different types of ambulatory care clinic. The residency that I'm at, we have a Coumadin clinic and a diabetes clinic. So those are our two main disease states that we manage. You could have an asthma clinic, a COPD clinic. Um, you could have a heart failure clinic. So those are other clinics that exist out there. Um, there's even um, psychiatric clinics as well. So there's multiple different clinics that exist. And it's a wide net for AmCare. So any of those chronic disease states, you'll have a lot of patients on um, with high blood pressure. You have a lot of patients with high cholesterol as well. So be managing those disease states as well. Transition to care is different depending on the setting. Um, the residency that I'm at, we have an outpatient transitions of care program and not an inpatient. So I'm not exactly sure how the process goes inpatient because we don't have that. But outpatient, it's more we follow up with patients within two weeks of being discharged from the hospital that we feel have a high uh, possibility of possibly being readmitted to the hospital, maybe because they don't have a primary care physician. Uh, maybe because of whatever brought them into the hospital, we just want to double check to make sure they're feeling well, if we need to make any adjustments with their medications. So they'll usually come into the clinic. We'll have nurse practitioners that will, that us pharmacists would work, work alongside with. And through the nurse practitioners, they would be the ones prescribing the medications. And then we'll have a, like a discussion. We'll meet with the patient, go over their medications, see how they're doing and see if there's any adjustments we need to make. So it's a very collaborative, um, practice, I would say. And I think it's great because you're picking the brains of other healthcare clinicians and their expertise on things. And that's something that I truly love. I love working in a group. I love being in a group environment and be able to help solve a tough issue together. And that's basically what transitional care is. You just have these patients that you're trying to prevent from being readmitted. And then the last one, specialty, that one is if you watch TV, it's all it's the all those drugs that you can't pronounce that, <laughs> that you see on commercials. So disease states that you'll be managing will probably be HIV, hepatitis B, um, commercials for stuff like Stolara, um, Dupixent, um, for like psoriasis. Um, that's that's a common one. Um, what else? Uh, rheumatoid arthritis. So Humira might be a drug some of you have heard about. So a lot of those meds are what you'll see in a specialty clinic, and they're very, very expensive um, medications. But it's interesting because it's not everybody has it. So it's kind of cool to be in that field to help these, these people that have like these rare disease states and, and um, to help be of service to them because they were probably struggling a long time to figure out what's wrong with them. And then you're able to actually be able to help them out and make sure they're getting the right meds and see if you can help uh, treat their disease state or prevent it from worsening. So those are the three fields right there in a nutshell. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.